Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study halves and quarters, also thirds. Basically, we're going to study fractions. What's that? Mathy? Oh, yeah, Mathy says that fractions sometimes make his head kind of spin a little bit. And if that happens to you, that's okay, okay, we'll just take it real slow. I think you will find fractions are fun and easy. Over here, this rectangle is divided in half, or we could say it's, it's divided into two halves, two equal parts, and each part is one half. Over here, this circle is also divided into two halves, but one of those halves is colored, so one half is colored. Over here this rectangle and the circle both, they are divided into four equal parts and each part is a quarter or we also say a fourth. Either you can say a fourth or a quarter, okay? It's divided into four quarters or four fourths. And here three fourths are colored. Or you could say three quarters are colored and then one quarter is white. Now over here is a triangle and our task is to color one half of it. And for that I need to first divide it into two equal parts. And the dots are going to help me. I'm just going to draw a line. There. And now I can color it. Maybe color this half. Over here, color one fourth. For that I have to first divide my shape into four parts, right? The dots are here to help me. So, I draw the lines. Now it's divided into fourths, or four equal parts. Color one fourth, any fourth, like this one for example. Color two quarters. So now I need to first divide it into how many parts? Well, the dots give you a clue. Four parts again. This way. And this way. And color two quarters or two fourths. Any two fourths. Let's say I color this and this. So fractions are fun. You know, you get to color a lot. Over here, we're going to first color one fourth and one half. And then we're going to check which one is more. Okay, for the fourth, I would have to first divide it into four parts. And this is an easy way, you just draw those lines for one half, like that. And now the coloring, one fourth. And then one half. Here, which one is more? I'm sure you can easily see this one is more. One half is more than one fourth. Again, one half and two quarters will do the same. One half, okay. Maybe I'll divide this square like that. So now I can color one half. Over here, I will divide it. For quarters, I need to divide it into four parts, right? So that's not yet enough. Let's draw another line here. And now color, one half, then color two quarters. Okay, I'm going to color this and this quarter. And now what do you think? Which one is more? Well, it turns out they are equal, right? Don't they look like they are the same amount? Next, we're going to study thirds. If you divide something into three equal parts, then each part is one third. This shape here, this rectangle, is divided into thirds, okay? Here, the circle is divided into thirds, and two thirds are colored. And what part is not colored? One third. One third is not colored. Color one third, okay? So first, I will divide my shape into three parts. Yes, the dots will help. And then I color one of those parts. Oh, that almost looks like some flag. You know, many countries have flags where they have stripes. Color two-thirds. 
this is an interesting looking triangle, but it's divided into three parts and the parts are equal. They are the same shape. So I'll color two thirds. That one and that one. Color three thirds. Okay. Oh, that should work out just fine. First divide it into thirds, then color three thirds. Or in other words, color the whole thing. There's three thirds colored. Lastly, again, we're going to compare and check which amount is more, which of these is going to be greater, three fourths or two thirds. Well, first divide it into fourths. And this one is divided into thirds or three equal parts. Then it's time to color again, three fourths and two thirds. Can you tell which is more, three fourths or two thirds? Well, how about if you think of it this way, the part that is not colored over here, the part that is not colored is smaller here than here, right? So therefore this part that is colored must be more here or greater here than here. So three fourths is the greater amount. Lastly, one half and one third. Well, now we just color. Can you tell which one will be more while I color? One half or one third? That's pretty easy, isn't it? Obviously, one half is more than one third. So what did you think, Matthew? Was it easy after all? Yeah, he thinks so. He thinks it's fun and easy. I hope you, you think the same too. Fractions are fun and easy.